Today we are starting our morning off having a little bit of breakfast. We're having some pancakes with some apple and cherry baby food for our syrup and orange and some Pedialyte. Is it good, Kayla girl? Is it good? Yeah, you enjoy it? Is it good? Say yum, yum, yum. Nom, 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 nom. So I am currently getting ready to have me some pancakes and some unsweetened tea. Go on, thanks for adjusting. We're going to clean. we got some things to do around the house today. But Kaylee, she went to bed at, yeah, little Miss Pris, she went to bed last night at 10 o'clock. So good. So good. But then at 3 o'clock in the morning, she bounced up like a little jumping bean and stayed up till 6 watching Aladdin. And then went back to sleep. And now guess what? It is currently almost noon. And we're just now getting back up. So our sleep schedule is 6 to noon. That's not working for me, but it's working for her. We got to work on that a little bit. Now mommy's got some things to do around the house, and we will be very right back. All right, I am currently cooking lunch. We're having steak fajitas. No, come on, come on. Come on, Kaylee girl. Come on. I just made Kaylee some sensory jello of her princesses. We're going to do that activity later. I got to put it in the refrigerator now. <laughs> we took a nap. We wasn't supposed to, but we watched Aladdin and took a nap. And guess what? Now it's almost 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Evening. It's evening. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We can do it if we want to. Right, baby? We got the house cleaned. Ooh. I made lunch. I What else did I do, babes? I made lunch. I cleaned the house. We brushed your hair. Like, that's a big achievement. <laughs> um, I took care of the dogs. Um, we had some bonding time. That was much needed. <laughs> Because let me tell you, this little girl does not sleep with me no more. She does not sleep with me no more. She sleeps independently by herself without mommy. And mommy needed that time. And don't pay attention to my eyebrow. I, I need to talk to you guys. What can I do? So I think I permanently, like, well, I don't think. I know I permanently damaged my eyebrow. So when I was younger, in high school, it was the thing to have small little eyelashes and not eyelashes eyebrows and my little eyebrows was like right here and i didn't have them like that was it that was my eyebrow right there on each side this side grew back wait it kind of grew back a little bit not much but i never had eyebrow like i always had eyebrows like that and for some reason that's just how we had them i don't know and then some people like shave them completely off and drew them on well now as i'm older i can't get it to grow back here now like I permanently I guess plucked out those hair follicles and they won't come back at all so I always draw them in with a pencil but I would love to have hair grow back somebody told me to go do the uh um oh what's it called the threading and all that stuff and get that done like kind of like tattooed on it's not like tattooed but it's like shaded on I guess it's temporarily anyway should i go do that what can i do because i don't like to like look like this and i don't all the time fill that in i'm going around the house i mean and i look kind of funky like my eyebrows gone so i mean that's a problem i'm faced with right here anyway um we slept i look like a raccoon we slept good 
it's nasty outside. It is cold, cold, cold. Oh, I've got to have Glenn order Kaylee's supplies that I need for her first birthday. We have to have her first birthday bib. I've been slowly making a list. First day, first birthday outfit. I've already put everything on the Amazon card. You just gotta come up with the money and pay for it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be Belle, so I have to have a Belle costume. Kaylee has to have. She has to have the perfect birthday party. I'm trying, so I'm hoping it's a perfect birthday party. It, it should be. I think I, I, I think I can pull this off. Anyway, I haven't decided if. Well, I know I'm going to have Walmart dirt cakes. I was looking online, and Walmart has these princess themes that I can do. I spent ninety five dollars for my baby shower cake, and it was like hollow in the center. There was nothing in it, so we didn't get rid of that much cake for ninety five dollars. I mean, it's a gorgeous cake. Gorgeous. But Kaylee's just going to smash her cake. And then I don't, I, I am a big person. I am a big person before COVID, even after COVID now, even 10 times more since COVID. I do not like eating cake that somebody has blown their spit all over trying to blow the candles out. I just, I don't like that. I love all of the parties that they, the kid or the person has their own little cake that they blow on, then the big cake they cut and serve to people. That's the way it should be. Do not be blowing your spit on people's cake or your cake and then let people eat that. I mean, that's why I always say, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. And then we'll eat the heck out of some cake and cupcakes if you haven't blown your spit all over it. But I just, I never did like that. And even with COVID now, I definitely do not like that. We do not do that. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all how to live, but that's how we live. I do not let my kid or Glenn or anybody. No, Glenn. No, Glenn. He had cake one time that we didn't have cake, but I didn't like how they were serving it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm big on don't touch the food. And I'm, at Kaylee's party, there's not gonna be no blowing spill on the cake. There's going to be gloves warm when we cut the cake. I'm just, there's precautions you all can be taking that you're not taking, but um. We shouldn't even be doing that before COVID. We should have been doing that way before COVID, you know. But anyway, I'm just, I am trying to have this party be perfect. And I'm looking at every, like I'm going to have a hand sanitizer station. If you're sick, do not come into these doors. And if you've been exposed, do not come through these doors. Like I, I'm trying to have a good party for my kids. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. I have, uh. I literally slept the day away. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay because I got this gorgeous little girl sleep day away with. And that's probably why she don't sleep until 6 o'clock in the morning. We have sensory play tonight. I'm going to record some of that and add that to the vlog. I'm trying to vlog every day, but I just don't have a interesting life. Like, I wish I did. We actually do. We have a really interesting life. We've just been laid back a little bit trying to save some money for this kid's party. So keep you guys updated oh and if you want to be a part of the vegan cut subscription please do so because um they terminated my partnership until i get my sales back up so i still get commissions on all my sales i just don't get you know the product in hand anymore until you guys start buying more product and then they it's just a dog eat dog world out there anymore um if you want to be a part of the vegan cut subscription box Use the code Miss Pat M Z P A T. I do have a link down in the not this description. Go find an old video <laughs> down in that description. Just go to Vegan Cuts. Go to VeganCuts.com. Use the code Miss Pat M Z P A T. Save you some money, honey, when you sign up for their subscriptions. Their subscription box is actually really, really nice. I miss getting my free one. So uh, if you could spread the word out and get everybody to buy a vegan cut box, maybe they'll be like, "Oh, you got your sales back up. Let's put you back on the ambassador team." I don't know. It's not been a good good time with my business anymore. I've not been working, and it shows. <laughs> I've got to get back into, you know, working and, you know, pulling my weight a little bit more on uh, my extra hustles. But I'm a full-time mommy. I'm a full-time mommy. I that's my job now. I can't help that I don't pay tips and... Maybe I should start wrangling some tips. Making him pay some tips. <laughs> doubtful. <laughs> yeah, I know. She was that doubtful. 
your daddy pays for everything as is. So, we just, I gotta start getting back into my groove. But, I'm, I've, I've got the rest of my life, rest of her life, to do that. I want to enjoy all this baby time. Because this first year has went by so quick. I'm so happy that I did not work, work like I was before her first year of life. Because this went by so quick. Anyway, that I would have missed it. I would have missed it. And I loved having every minute I could with this little thing. Like, literally, every... Oh! You want a vlog? You want a vlog? Tell them. You like to have mommy with you every second. You don't want mommy working. See, I didn't want my mommy working. I want my mommy with me every second. Oh, and to the people in the back, that... You know who you are. There is some people that has been throwing shade my way i don't know if you watch my youtube channel or not but if you do it's for you um i post too much about my kid that's been that's been the topic from the day i had her from the time i got pregnant that i was just so proud of my life my baby and everything that i posted my facebook my channels my content my social platforms i post what i want i post how much i want and for those that have said that they don't post so much due to you don't know who's watching those posts there's pedophiles out there there's people that snag those photos blah 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 yeah that may be true but again you my dear have the option on Facebook at least even Instagram at least to monitor who sees your post you can see who sees it. So are you saying that your friends is the people you're worried about seeing the content of your kids? Does your friends share the posts? If you make your pages restricted to who you know can see them, I don't see an issue. My Facebook page is restricted. That's where I share all of Kaylee's content at. Everything Kaylee does, her daily life. I share that on Facebook, and that that content is restricted to certain people that's on my friends list. Now, those certain people is mainly Kaylee's family, my family, my friends, my close friends. Now, if you are somebody I need to worry about, then I may need to have to delete you. So, that is my mindset on that comment. Anyway, my kids crawl across the bed, and I don't want to follow the bed, so I will talk to you guys later on that full in detail, because that peed me off. <laughs> Broccoli and cheese casserole is definitely something we absolutely love over here at the Hardee's. Good. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. That looks funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish I got a picture of that rolling out. <laughs> Did you get videoed? Oh yeah, I got the video. Get it! Dig in there! Get some pictures. What are you eating that for? They're princesses! You gotta, you gotta save your princesses! She's like, I don't care about them princesses. I mean, me some jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna eat it. She grabs Bella first. Well, you did kind of flip her over. Okay, whatever. Kind of stack the deck for Bell there. <laughs> Big bite for Bell. Put her back in there. <laughs> she, she goes back. Set up, babes. Why are you just lounging? Sit in here and play. Mommy made this for you to play in. Let's, let's move her up a little bit because I see this getting everywhere. I wish they had guards on the sides of this. You know what I mean? Like walls, like just a square. <laughs> She's digging down to that other princess now. Like 
it's your own fault you got put in here. <laughs> She's like, I haven't seen y'all in months, and I find y'all in Jello. <laughs> Cinderella's her favorite. And strawberry is her favorite, so she has strawberry jello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you found her. You want me to clean her off for you? Look, watch. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? My do good? <laughs> that was a good. That was a, mommy did good. Can I have a bite? Yeah, bite. Can I have a big bite? Good. Do my do good? Can I bite? Oh. Stick Ariel in her mouth. Can I have a bite? Put Ariel in mommy's mouth. Can I have a bite? Okay, she can't share with me. sensory play <laughs> we are currently going out yes we're going to go out look at her cute little outfit we gotta pick up some things at the store and get her some leave-in conditioner with curls yeah i'll show you guys what i'm gonna be using say bye-bye say bye-bye so we just got out of walmart oh, hold on hold on hold on i'm hold on okay hold on all right, so we just got out of Walmart. Kaylee is currently having a McDonald's chicken sandwich. Um, Walmart did not have any groceries hardly. Like, it was bad. We wanted a gallon of 2% milk. I want a gallon of 2% milk because that's the only kind of milk I drink and I let Kaylee drink. And they didn't have no 2% milk. They only had whole milk. And I had to spend $4 for a gallon of whole milk just to cook with. And, um... It was horrible. It was out of everything. Like, all, all the meat. I got a little tiny rinky-dink pack of chicken tenderloins. And it was like $8 for a little tiny grimy-looking little pack. And I was very disappointed with that. So, we stopped at McDonald's on the way home. For two for three. I remember when you used to be able to get a double cheeseburger for a dollar. And a McChicken for a dollar. Well, it's two for three now. And I got... Which ain't a big difference. It's a dollar fifty piece. But anyway, I got... Kaylee and McChicken, I play McChickens and I eat the bread off of hers and then a McDouble for me and that fills me up and she eats the chicken sandwich so she loves her chicken sandwiches and that's what she's eating now for dinners but she had some jello, you, you already seen that, she done the jello play and the sensory activity with the jello, she loves that so much and I know, I know a lot of you people is like on my Instagram, you know you're not supposed to give babies the red dye and it's got a number for it and all that stuff. And the dye, certain dye, and I was like, I don't know. But, I mean, it's in our foods. It's in a lot of our foods. And it's jello, and she don't get it all the time. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you can't just cut everything out of our lives. And jello is a fun sensory activity, and it's not going to hurt or hurt her. And it's sugar-free. And, I, I mean, I try, you know, I try <laughs> to do what I can. But, anyway... So, don't come for me in the comments saying, you know, you should not be giving your baby red jello. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get, that's what I had in the cabinet, and I want to do the activity, but I'm going to be doing probably, like, the clear gelatin stuff like that. But she loves strawberry. And she just loves strawberry. And I was strawberry flavored, so I gave it to her. But anyway, I'll do better. Um, I probably won't. I'll probably continue to give it to her once in moderation. Every once in a while, I ain't going to hurt her. It's not like she eats strawberry jello every single day. But anyway, she uh, loves jello. And I always make sure it's sugar free at least. Anyway, we are currently eating chicken sandwiches in the parking lot at Dollar General. My dad goes in and gets super glue for me. I went to Dollar Tree. I spent way too much money at Dollar Tree. I spent literally $52 at Dollar Tree. 
and I didn't get what I needed. I went into Dollar Tree to get tablecloths and I came out with fifty-two dollars worth of stuff. So that was a trap. I can't ever go in Dollar Tree if I'm getting stuff. <laughs> I did we have oh I don't even think I told you guys. We got double booked on the sa Sunday the 16th for another birthday party. So I actually RSVP to it and we're going to make it. It's at 2 and then the other party's at 3.30. So we're going to be able to do all the parties, hopefully. Anyway, we are heading home. Here is Glenn back in her truck being annoying. Here he comes. He's looking at the video. Eat your chicken. I'm vlogging. Oh, I I've been vlogging every single day and uploading it to YouTube. Maybe yeah. I've been vlogging every day of January. Welcome back to the Hardy family. Oh, you can't even see us because it's dark. But. But if you remember, that's how Glenn and Trish's vlog used to be. <laughs> we did used to vlog in the dark all the time. And now I got Kaylee vlogging in the dark. But I I did post a video kind of saying why I didn't have been vlogging, how I don't want to get an unnecessary drama on YouTube because a lot of the YouTubers oh there was a big YouTuber, H3H3 podcast, him and Trisha Paytas. I don't know the full drama details, but I do know that the FBI raided his house over it. Oh wow. Yeah. And that's how you know it's serious. Yeah. That's some real beef right there when the feds come. <laughs> so I mean we're not we're like small little tadpoles that I don't think nobody would even care about, but I don't want to even have that drama in my life. And then there's another YouTuber I don't want to put her on blast or anything because she's already got so much going on that she literally had to sell her home. I just said this in another vlog. She had to sell her home, she lives in a motor home and has her kids moving from state to state because it's unsafe for her to be in one area too long. And it's sad that our world's getting that way. Like, people can't just, enter, they just can't turn on the TV and enjoy watching people. They want to become so obsessed that there's people and ruin their lives for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they do. That's why I'm real hesitant about letting you do it. I know. And then, like, poor, that poor mother gets CPS called on her and the police called on her. And they always call and say that there's unsafe living arrangements for the kids. And the kids are being battered or whatever just because they don't like her. And the police has to investigate it. And when any kind of accusations are made, you know. Yeah. So, I haven't really had the time to YouTube and vlog and edit and everything. As you can see, I'm just posting all these videos at once. But... It's not just so that, it's just, it's not, I don't want the unnecessary drama anymore. And I was getting at the, I was getting to that stage where I was getting really hateful comments all the time. Remember that? Yeah. And it was, it was getting sad. Like, it made me sad and feel the type of way when I get all these hateful comments. And then Glenn would get mad at me. You can't do YouTube if you have, what was it, if you don't have thick skin? Yeah, you gotta have thick skin because you're gonna get good and bad. Always. But... I feel like I owe it though to the people that I've been on YouTube since 2017 and there's been there I have a few subscribers that have stayed there from the very beginning that's watched my pregnancy watch us get together watch my pregnancy watch Kaylee be born because I did post a few videos of me in the hospital with Kaylee do you remember but my goal for 2022 is to get all my videos off of YouTube into a DVD I don't know. I get, I get kind of like in my feelings when I think about not having all my videos on DVDs already. I get in my feelings too. Why? I know you blame me. I do blame you because I need you to sit down and do it all. Because I don't know how to do them. Glenn knows how to do them. If I get my office cleaned up and everything, will you do it? Yeah. Will you really? Yeah. If I get my office cleaned up every evening, you'll burn some DVDs. Sure. You you swear on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. If that's what it takes to get that office cleaned up, <laughs> sure. 
<laughs> My hobby cleaned up. I don't mean swipe the garbage under the rug, you know, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. <laughs> My office is horrible. It is. Maybe you should vlog about that. Yeah. I, I swear, you, you look at her office, you, you think you're watching Hoarders XL. <laughs> My, hoard, my hoarders. My office is hoarders. <laughs> okay. I will be working on that. You should vlog that. Clean that room up? Yes, the whole progress. <laughs> like, I'll give you one of those blink cameras or or that other camera and just like set it up somewhere and, and have it just constantly recording while you're going through. Or so, set your phone up. The time lapse. Time lapse. Yeah. While you're doing it. Okay, I will work on that. That will be my goal tomorrow. I can imagine the towers and towers of stuff <laughs> coming down like really quick. Yeah, I know it would be horrible. I will record that. I'll have to find a good spot in there to mount my phone and do it. Didn't we get that little caterpillar mount that will wrap around stuff? Yeah. Get, um, I don't know where it's in there. <laughs> take your... Yeah. But I know you're using that right now. But I was saying take that and like strap it around the top metal. Yeah. Or one of the poles. I'll figure something out. I got I got a couple tripods. Probably, yeah, we can probably look and see what Timmy's can give us. Well, anyway, I'm going to work on that maybe tomorrow. I do need to get that done. So as soon as I get that done, you will start working on it. Sure. Okay. Remember that every evening a DVD. Sure. Yeah, well, I didn't agree to every evening a DVD. <laughs> <laughs> You said that you'd help me get them done. I will get them done. Okay. But I don't know about doing one a night. Uh, yeah, like a couple here and there. Okay, whatever. As long as we get them done this year. Okay, so. I will be working on my room tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to end the video there. We are um, currently going to go home. I'll get a little bit of footage of that. And let you know. Whatever. Glenn, do you have anything to say to YouTube since you've been gone for a year? Oh. I'm not happy to be back. Glenn is officially back to YouTube. We're going to be vlogging every day. And uh, it's probably not going to be interesting, but it's going to be vlogs. So we're going to have daily vlogs of our life up until we die. <laughs> what? I gave you a year break. What more do you want? I gave you more than a year. I'm about to veto that. I gave you nine months of my pregnancy plus a year of I gave you 18 months. I gave you 18 gave, months of no vlogging. I gave you a house. I gave you a child. And I tell you what, when that child is able to talk, I swear we will team up against you and end the vlogging once and for all. No, she's going to love vlogging. We, we will rise up. She already loves cameras. Everybody kept telling me she ain't going to like taking pictures. She looks at the camera and smiles. It's fine, but you know, when she's older, she's going to want to play and not just videotape everything. Oh, she'll want to. We are going to rise up and take down the evil queen. <laughs> oh, we finally ordered all of Kaylee's birthday stuff today. It was two hundred and six. How much? Two hundred seventy. Two hundred seventy dollars for Kaylee's play yard. Um, we keep Kaylee caged, which we should not say that on YouTube. <laughs> we keep Kaylee in play yards. Everybody, well, what do you think? Play pens, like this stuff is sold at Walmart. Everybody keeps saying it's caged. Yeah, we have play yards. We bought in our play yard, and. It's a better one. I'm going to put it in her bedroom and then take the one in her room and put it in the living room. Well, anyway. We have to because Kaylee's got a fascination with wanting to stick her finger in the light socket. Oh, yeah. She started doing that lately. But I have covers for it, but she's smart enough to pull those covers out. Oh, yeah. But, she makes a beeline for it. Yeah. She started doing that just a couple days ago. But we ordered all that. I got my Belle costume coming. The only thing we have to order soon, Glenn's got to find, is his hat or his mask, his beast hat mask so you're on the look for that and then he's got a blue shirt that I'm going to he's going to wear it with a white shirt underneath of it and then I'll put some gold fabric around the sides of it that'd be cool that look good so we're having Kaylee's party I spent $52 today at Walmart or not Walmart at Dollar Tree and got a lot of her party supplies I already have a lot too so 
Uh, the only thing we really need to now is not this Saturday, but next Saturday we got to order her cakes. Yeah. And, oh, excuse me. But if Kaylee, no. If Walmart can't do my cakes, I'm gonna be so depressed because I found the cakes I want Walmart to do. It's online, and it says that they do them. So I mean, if they wouldn't advertise it online, they couldn't do it, could they? I don't know. So we'll find out next Saturday if that's gonna work or not. Then we'll have to. As of right now, I know the cakes I'm getting. So, all right, we're heading. All right, so Kaylee goes to a lot of birthday parties. She went to a lot in 2021, and she's already got four birthdays in January of 2022 to go to. So I'm getting all that together for her first birthday parties of January 2022, and then she has two birthday parties just for herself this month. So we are birthdayed out. I am currently working on Kaylee's guest book for her birthday party. So here's what it looks like before. Here's all my supplies, just Dollar Tree supplies. And here we go. You ready to see what it looks like after? I'm letting the pink paint dry, and then I'm going to add glitter and then the stickers. So, when I was pregnant, I thrifted this at a yard sale. I just got done cleaning it up really good, and I'm going to let it set. I'm going to scrub it some more tomorrow, and I'm going to put it up for Kaylee's first birthday present. I think I spent $5 on it. Okay, oh, let me help you. Hold it. Hold on, wait, and let me help you. Here we go, look. Say thank you, Gracie. <gasps> look, it's a unicorn. <gasps> it's a unicorn that's gonna go in your tree. Yeah, we're gonna put it on your tree next year. <gasps> you like it? Say thank you. <gasps> Say I love it. <laughs> thank you so much, Gracie. Kaylee, come here, look at me. I want to get a picture. It's so hard to get a picture of this kid anymore. Hey. Every night, Kaylee likes to be walked in her stroller trike. Well, I guess pushed through the house. We got a pathway we take. It's kind of hard to do this while recording. Oh, we got the path blocked. I don't think we could get... I'm restoring that. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Brushing your little teethers. She don't like that. She got all kinds of.